Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to identify the power dissipation in a resistive load inverter circuit and in a CMOS inverter. Okay, let's get started with the resistive load inverter. If you see on the left side of your screen, you see that there's an active device NMOS, which is a driver, and there's a load resistance RL, which is connected as a load. We need to find the power dissipation. We know that power dissipation is given by VDD into ID. We are going to find the average power dissipation. This is static average power dissipation. For that, what we need to do is we need to divide our supply into two, VDD by two into ID when my input is high plus VDD by two. I'm just dividing my supply voltages into two parts assuming that my input will have 50% duty cycle for half the period it would be high for other half the period my input would be low id when my input is low once i have this with me let's substitute the values when input is low low means nearly equal to zero my transistor is in cutoff because my v in which is nothing but vgs is going to be less than the threshold voltage vtn which is technically around 0.6 to 0.7 volts. So if my transistor is in cutoff, ID is equal to zero. ID is nothing but the current flowing to the transistor in the cutoff region. And if ID is zero, current flowing to the resistor will also be equal to zero because from KCL, which we have already seen in the previous clip, this current is equal to the current flowing through my transistor. So IR is also equal to zero. So when my input is low, my ID is zero, so that means this term is equal to zero. So this term technically moves out of my expression. Now what is left is VDD by two into ID when my input is high. Let's quickly see what's going to happen. If my input is high, my output is going to be low, correct? When my input is high, my transistor is on and ID is equal to IR and we know that IR is nothing but VD minus V out upon RL. Because my output is low, we can say that V out is nothing but VOL. So let's substitute V out equal to VOL because my output is low. And this is nothing but my equation of IR. Let's substitute IR equal to ID. So ID equal to VDD by two into VDD minus VOL upon Rn. This is the average static power dissipation in a resistive load inverter. Let's go ahead and see the static average power dissipation in a CMOS inverter. For that, stay tuned for further clip. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you.